Welcome to our presentation on developing a strategy for the university. So first we're going to start with a business canvas model of the university's current status. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to go through key partners, key activities, key resources, volume of positions, customer relationship, uh, customer uh, segments, channels, re um, revenue streams and cost structure. So uh, to start off with key partners, uh, of course there are professors, guest lecturers, uh, partner universities and partner businesses. Uh, to go on to key activities, uh, we have small lectures, initiatives and um, events. And for key uh, resources, we have English-speaking professors uh, and uh, like from different countries. And now we're going to go on to um, value propositions. So these are the quality education in English, interactive lessons, internationality and interculturality. And uh, for customer relationships, we have uh, student-teacher relationships and often mentorship. And it's always a direct communication where the students can approach the professors at any time. Um, we have uh, different channels for the university to market its uh, resources. We have websites, social media, open house, Carl's 360 advertisements and uh, courses and online lectures. These are how the university delivers their services. And now uh, for customer segments, we have the, st the students seeking uh, quality education in the English language and uh, students looking to develop their foreign language skills while studying. Yeah. Now for the cost structure. Yeah, for cost structure we have staff, technology such as video conferencing tools. Um, then an obvious one we have infrastructure such as rent and uh, operational expenses. Um, then we have marketing and uh, lastly for cost structure we have events and field trips. Um, so uh, the last one revenue streams for those we have student fees, events sponsoring. Uh, grants and uh, partner university all around the world and research-based project funding and now we're going to be talking about uh, building your company's vision by James Collin and Jerry Torres and this is going to be our first tool so for this model we have the core ideology which consists, uh, which consists of the core values and core purpose for core values we have the interdisciplinary approach didactic approach practical focus personality development leadership and cross-cultural orientation these are all based on the carl's website and for core purpose we have to be a service provider for the economy and society which is a goal of the university and it's never changing therefore it is a core purpose uh, same for to become a marketplace for the requirements and demands of both education and for qualified employees. And now moving on to the envisioned future. Um, we have the first thing is the big hairy audacious goals, which are to individualize our products, programs and mentoring off offers so that the students can be addressed direct, uh, like directly according to their different learning styles and uh, to further institutionalize the multitude of bilateral and informal cooperation to increasingly procure third party funding and in the context of research cooperation projects with business partners and to integrate theory and practice as much as possible which the university is currently doing so these are the university's long term goals and um, the second part is the vivid description which is the picture painting a segment of how the university does so and tries to achieve these goals and that is by uh, assessing the different curricula on a regular basis with regards to the changing demands in the education and labor market so there's const they're constantly uh, introducing new uh, bachelor courses for example de depending on the outside demand in the market and they also work in accordance with the principles of results orientation customer satisfaction, goal-oriented management, continuous learning, innovation and continuous improvement and the teaching staff are mentors for the students, they are aware of their responsibility uh, for the development prospects of the students. Uh, this was an analysis of the university's current status. So now we are going to take a look at the SWOT analysis of the Karlsburg Schule. So for strengths we have its interactiveness, small classes and lectures, uh, it's one of the few English-speaking universities in Germany it's cultural events, it's guest lectures, it's um, open-mindedness and uh, liberal mindset, uh, it's internationality, it's freedom to attend lectures and, uh, and make students take the responsibility for their own learning and deciding when they show up to classes. Um, 
the glass walls, which again plays back into the interactiveness and openness of the university, which is of course closely related to table arrangement, which uh, uh, encourage group work as there's uh, not separate tables, but groups of tables which uh, encourage uh, different, uh, separate students to work together. Um, there's a wide uh, range of uh, languages that are being offered and there is a uh, direct contact with the support team and staff. Some of the weaknesses are derived from uh, some of the strengths, as we talked about, it's a small university that plays a, a, that's a strength as it has small classes which are more focused on individual uh, uh, students. But of course, it's also a weakness as there is a small building which cannot expand uh, in a small city with no campus, small number of students which limits all the courses and languages you can offer, and um, common areas like the cafe, which is not working right now. Uh, opportunities, well, um, there is the online classes which can always uh, work as a complement uh, to normal lectures. Um, a larger and more specified range of courses, uh, guest lectures on relevant topics in current news, and slowly aim to relocate or expand the course, which is again related to the number of students, if it increases, and uh, target new cultures and new countries um, to attract new students. And some of the threats that uh, the course can face are, as well, we saw these last few years, and not just the course but any other place, um, COVID-19, larger and more already established universities which will attract students more and uh, potential universities which could occupy similar niches and offer similar things as the cause and alternatives to university like Ausbildung or professional courses. So the next concept is going to be the St. Gallen's management model which we have provided two examples that tie into the strategy of the Kaso Schule. So this part is divided into three categories so normative management followed by strategic management and operational management. And for normative management, we took a value of the, of the Karlshochschule and I quote, we consider ourselves an international institution with a cross-cultural orientation. Our internationalization strategy focuses on Central and Eastern Europe, Arab countries, Southeast Asia, Latin America, and the Anglo-Saxon countries. And for the strategic management aspect, uh, since the Kaso Shura stands for internationality, one strategy of this uni is to continue to attract international students while also maintaining relationships with them. And as a result of this, more than 40% of the students are non-German. And for the operational management, these relationships and support systems are implemented through the initiatives such as the CAUSE Ambassadors and the CAUSE Buddies, as well as the International Foundation Year. So for the um, second example, uh, we also took a quote from the uh, CAUSE Values, and we got, uh, our, di our didactic approach is characterized by a trade of instruction, construction, and reflection in the individual models, modules, and units. Um, so for the strategic management aspect, um, one key strategy at Carl's is the idea that this uni uh, remains at a personal of teaching, a uh, personal level of teaching, where students can develop a close relationship with professors and lecturers um, who can even take the role of mentors in their personal uh, and academic growth. And uh, for the last aspect, aspect which is uh, operational management, um, is that although the CURLS is a non-profit organization, uh, they want to attract new potential students, uh, but also stick to their value that no matter the student population, um, small courses will remain with, uh, with an individual and, pers and at a personal level. Uh, so this can be measured though through um, the small courses, uh, as this SWOT analysis uh, showed before, to reflect those individual uh, modules. Uh, to score this claim, the class, uh, the class of two, uh, 2021 has an average of 18 students uh, per program, while in the past four years, it was actually, the average size was actually per year was 20 students. 
So next we have the Mitzaber 5P strategy. Uh, the five P's are plan, pattern, position, perspective, employee. Plan is where uh, CAR's uh, strategic plan or goal is also related towards helping students out. So for example, to individualize the products, programs, and mentoring offers so to such an extent that students can be addressed according to their individual learning types and develop the different talents as different personalities, but in an optimal manner. Then for pattern, uh, in Kaso uh, is a place uh, to prepare the students to make their own learning experience, also in competence and development. It, is also, it also enjoys innovation and experimentation, and this attracts many new students uh, from different parts of the world. Additionally, there are new courses introduced every year, depending on the demand of the market, of course. Then we have Position. Kaso Shule is a state-approved non-profit organization, uh, foundation. It focuses with an interdisciplinary approach on critical management, cultural studies, social and political sciences. Perspective, uh, the university is about helping students and their self-growth. In fact, uh, one of the objecti objectives in this is the ability to change one's perspective. Mentoring and programs are offered according to their learning types and develop their different talents as well as their different personalities in an optimal manner, as always. And we have PLOI. Kursov uh, Shule International University offers a good didactic, didactic approach where students are engaged to share their opinions and speak up without being shy. It has a free and private internet connection for all students. Additionally, um, they provide online classes on activities such as this for students who cannot attend the lesson in, in presence. And lastly, Kursov Shule has two websites which the students can see all the work they've been doing or follow what the class has been up to if not, uh, the student was not in presence. So for implementing a new work system, we decided to uh, base it on Edward Deming's 14 points on total quality management. Edward Deming was a management consultant among other things and um, his combination of skills and his different areas of work allowed him to be one of the most influential management thinkers he is one of the originators of the total quality management concept and he pioneered for uh, some of the world's most useful and um, innovative strategies for enhancing quality and productivity. So uh, we chose some of the points and we decided to uh, apply these to the university's future strategy. The first one we chose was the first point, which is to create a constant purpose towards improvement. And uh, if we see the university's purpose as the core purpose that we identified earlier to be a service provider for the economy and society, for example, then the question here will be how can the cause improve its uh, fulfillment of demands for students and the market constantly? And um, the fifth uh, point that we also chose is to improve constantly and forever. And um, to quote the article, about how can the 14 points be applied for higher education. Uh, higher education professionals must monitor students' needs continually and offer programs and services that meet those needs both now and in the future. And uh, the sixth point that we chose is to institute training and uh, implement edu education and self-improvement, which is the 11th point, but they both link together and to implement constant training for professors and students alike and this can be done by staying up to date on new learning methods and learning techniques and to cater for different learning styles and the cause is already working on that as it recently held a seminar on uh, neurodivergence which can educate the professors on uh, how to teach uh, neurodivergent students for example now uh, the seventh uh, point which is Institute supervision and implementation of leadership. Um, and I quote, uh, most experts agree that in the future, organizational hierarchies will be much more horizontal than, than is currently the case at many in, uh, colleges and universities. This is already the case in Karlsburg Schule with many students working alongside the staff in planning events and making suggestions for improvement. Another way we can further implement this is by having regular meetings with the staff and uh, sit down together with students uh, to discuss uh, further improvements and ideas that the university can work on. Uh, breakdown between departments.
make all the departments aware uh, of certain goals to achieve. Catering to, this, catering to the student needs should be the university's main goal. All departments should be working towards the same goal. And uh, finally, uh, the ninth point, making transformation everyone's job. Uh, make all students aware of the university's newly implemented strategy so they all work towards the same goal. So what can the Carls improve? What can be our further developments? Uh, the university could analyze data from the current uh, database of students, like their demographics, and they could focus on uh, holding marketing events in the capital cities where most of our students come from, as we already know that uh, the university might have uh, a good, um, there's a good awareness about the university there. And uh, these, this can be like a test phase that we have in a few countries before moving on to implementing the same strategy in different countries. The Calls Cafe is also a place that can become an indicator of how likely and friendly Call students are and can encourage parents and potential students to start a conversation uh, when visiting uh, the university an open house. Furthermore, a cafe can increase the motivational levels of students uh, as it is more visually appealing and gives them a place to socialize outside class environment. Uh, in events such as the Open Day or International Day, the university is advised to have an open invica uh, invitation to increase the number of visitors that could potentially uh, become associated with the uh, calls in the future. Example of this is uh, the university uh, can do so by hanging posters around the city and uh, advertising uh, in local um, uh, gymnasiums. For further developments in the university's organization and look, those two can be given uh, certain tasks to focus on, on which they can ask for help from uh, making the students aware of what improvements need to be done in the university, and uh, therefore they can gather volunteers to help work on these specific tasks. Okay, so the first part, strategic actors, uh, people um, who at the college who can have an influence and have a role in the decision-making process. So, for example, our, uh, the president of the university, um, as well as also uh, head lecturers and uh, heads of the programs, uh, for example, of the IR program or of the management program or IB, um, as well as other key staff members, in addition to the hiring of experts that will help the transfer transformation process. And then going into the strategic practices, uh, the hiring of qualified professionals and experts on every field, as well as the investment in the best equipment to maximize the learning experience, and the uh, even distribution of professors and workloads to ensure maximum efficiency, followed by the uh, last uh, point of new, um, adding new learning models. Okay, so uh, potential challenges. Uh, when it comes to strategy, can be uh, convincing potential students to study at the cons. So, um, as opposed to other alternatives such as uh, apprenticeships or Ausbildungs, as well as uh, more established universities. And uh, meeting a minimum number of students um, can be a challenge because if these, um, this number is not met, uh, the student life may be hindered. And yeah, and so uh, the areas for improvement are uh, the uni could work on social media development and um, so like the website inaccuracy, they could solve that and lack of information and clarity. And uh, yes, and so uh, as last point to make is improve um, improved guest tours and like treatment when you come and first see the university. So last one, as already previously mentioned on the SWOT analysis uh, slide, um, opportunities. So we have three main opportunities. Uh, the first one is to amplify internationalization as a funding principle of the CURLS, therefore um, attracting potential students from new countries uh, and therefore from new cultures as well. And this could be done by hiring more professors. Um, moreover, uh, special lectures on relevant topics. And the last point to make is uh, a more specified range of, the, um, of degree programs. And these, these are the uh, references and thank you for listening.